Ah, uh, tips. Just the tips. All right, so these are 3D printed tips for the end of the small tube on the Auto Trickler V4. Um, I bought these off of a guy on Sniper's Hide. Uh, they were developed by a dude that went by JThor, um, and he has, I believe, gone to do some military training stuff, and so they are currently being made by someone else. I will uh, put that down in the description just in case you're looking to get one of these. Um, so they are resin 3D printed. They look like they're maybe treated with graphite powder or something after that, um, and they're meant to help prevent overthrows. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the theory behind this is. Um, it basically um, gives a little extension and I think a bit of taper um, to the end. And it is threaded, you can see inside. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on this thing any better. Um, there you can see it is kind of internally threaded um, and so it just slips in and then is kind of tapered and internally threaded a bit um, to kind of help uh, the powder come out more evenly at the very end of the tip. They seem to be well manufactured. I mean, you know, they're 3D printed, so you're going to get a pretty consistent result uh, with, you know, high quality resin 3D printing. Uh, I don't know what exactly what resin they're using or anything, but um, they seem to be made well. So I'm going to give them a try. I I've done some initial testing and I don't know if I can tell a huge difference, but they certainly don't make it work any worse. Um, I think they cost about $5 plus $5 for shipping. So I paid 15 bucks and I got four tips. Uh, I've got one already installed. So um, let's go run some tests and see how the, uh, the ATV4 works with one of these installed. All right, so I've got the uh, the auto trickler set up. I've got some Hagen 4350 in it. I've already had a little powder spill because, well, it seems like every time I mess with this thing, I'm going to spill something. Um, but I'm going to do a little test, and it's going to be quick and dirty. It's, I'm not going to do a full fledged, you know, complicated thing. Um, I've got uh, the regular setup, no tip installed. Um, and I'm just going to be dropping one grain of powder because I don't want to have to worry about any complications with the large tube because the tip doesn't affect it. So I only want to engage the small tube. And so I'm just going to do a quick 10 throws. Um, now the settings I'm using are pretty tight. Um, I'm using minimum speed settings on the small tube and a target weight of 0.03. So I'm expecting to get a few um, overthrows. And so I want to kind of look at, you know, the, the prevalence of overthrows um, with these settings because I've been playing with it. And this seems to be a setting that the tip can kind of handle, but then the raw tube can't. And so maybe we can show if there is really a difference here. There's another overthrow. So two out of five were a little heavy. All right, so we had uh, 10 throws, two were over. Um, not too bad, but uh, let's see if the tip does any better. All right, so I've got the tip installed. Uh, so let's do the same thing. We're just going to do 10 drops, one grain. See what happens. All right, so one overthrow. That one, the scale seemed a little weird, but I don't know. It didn't go quite back to zero. And there's two in a row. Two more. All right, well, it overthrew on the last four. So, um, interesting, you know, I don't know if, you know, 
anybody would want to say that that's conclusive or not. Um, you know, certainly just uh, 10 throws is not a, a very robust test. Um, also, you know, there is a bit of a different behavior whenever you're only using the small tube versus when it's being transitioned from the large tube. So um, I'm not going to say that these tips are bad um, or that they're good. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty neutral on them. Uh, I'm not sure that they that they help as much as people would like them to help. But, um, you know, they don't seem awful. You know, again, that was a quick test. Yeah, it, it overthrew four. Um, in my previous off-camera testing, it did kind of fine. Um, it didn't necessarily do worse. It just so happened that the one I decided to film, uh, it seemed to do a little worse. So I'm kind of neutral on them. Um, for a lot of people, they seem to fix their overthrow problems. And... You know, I will say it does seem to throw a little smoother with the tip. Um, it, it doesn't seem to have as big a problem hunting for those those last few kernels um, nearly as bad. So, again, maybe with more testing, I may come around and say, hey, these things are way better. For right now, uh, my conclusion is eh, maybe. Um, I'm not going to say that they don't work. I'm just going to say so far in my testing, I haven't been able to tell a big difference and they haven't seemed to be some magic cure uh, for overthrows. So anyway, uh, that's that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. If you've got any comments uh, or suggestions, again, as always, leave them down in the comments. Thanks.